Hey guys, welcome back. So it's currently November 19th and I'm starting to get things ready for the annual care packages that I give away around Thanksgiving time. I posted a video last year where I gave out care packages to the homeless and it got so much positive feedback, particularly from people in my community saying how much they would love to do this and how much they would even like to help me if I did it again this year. Last year, I was only able to make four care packages, which is a small number compared to the huge increase in the homeless population this year alone. So it got me thinking, if I'm able to gather a group of people who are able to either donate or help in some way, I feel like together we could make a really big difference this year. A few minutes ago, I posted on my socials telling people that I'm gonna be doing this again this year and letting them know how they can help, what they can donate, and basically how to reach me if they'd like to participate. So basically now I'm just waiting to hear back from people. But as I film this, it's actually Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week. November 16th to the 24th. So I felt like this was the perfect time to start and finish this project. So in the meantime, let's talk about the game plan. Okay, so I'm still working this part out. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna go. I'm kind of making things up as I go along, but here's what I have in mind. Depending on how many people want to help out, we can either individually assemble the care packages in our own homes, at our own time, at our own convenience, or we can pick a location and gather together on one specific morning, assemble the care packages, and then later that same day, go deliver them. We can all split up in different cars, go to different areas, different neighborhoods, maybe even different cities depending on how many people we have and i feel like we can help and reach a lot more people that way so i'm hoping that a lot of people are willing to help out i feel like it's so much more special and meaningful if we all gather together and do something like this for the community especially nowadays i feel like no one really hangs out anymore everything's really done like online or on social media and i feel like every time someone drives past a homeless person even me i'm guilty of this too I feel like we see it so often that we kind of normalized it so we're so desensitized to it and we think it's normal but it's a growing problem and if there's anything that we can do no matter how big or how small i feel like we need to do that so i will check back in with you guys when i have an update hey guys so it's been about three days since i last spoke to you and i have a couple updates i've been talking to a couple people on instagram who have been telling me that they would like to help out with this project in some way whether it be through donations or helping assemble the bags which is great i'm super happy that so many people seem to be interested in this so far i've already actually collected three separate donations from three different people the other day yesterday i collected them and here they are let me show you here's one we have a bunch of blankets we have bags band-aids, ointments, so many blankets, which is so useful. Tylenol, wipes. In this bag, there's just a bunch of um, toothpastes. And here we have socks, we have pads, we have toothbrushes, deodorant, tissues, floss, band-aids, athlete's foot cream, so many good things. I actually got the same bags that I used for last year's video, so we can, um, put all the things inside of these little drawstring bags. And then this is um, what I've picked up so far is just some tissues, gloves, socks, wet wipes, snacks, athlete's foot, powder, just different things like that. Obviously I could not afford to do all of this by myself. So I'm very thankful that these girls were able to give me some bags and donate and oh, it's so cute. I love it. But another update that I have is I finally have a location for where we're gonna meet to assemble the bags. My boyfriend actually came up with this idea. He was like, why don't you guys just go to the park? And I'm like, you know, <laughs> why don't we? Like, duh, like it's so simple and easy and convenient and anyone can go. So I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I was just trying to overthink things and i just didn't think about the park so anyway um i let people know on instagram already that we're gonna be there sunday morning 10 a.m at the park I told them the location and everything so whoever wants to come is more than welcome to come help assemble the bags um just hang out have a good time write some notes for the care packages so i think that these are the last updates that i'm going to be giving you until i see you on sunday if anything comes up of course i'll update you so i will see you on sunday
Good morning. So this is what my Sunday morning pretty much started off like. I got to the park at 9 a.m. and we headed over to these little shade structures that the park offers. And we basically just set up everything on the tables. We laid everything out so it'd be easier to know what to put in the bags. So this is just to give you an idea of all of the items that we were going to be giving that day. We had snacks, wipes, band-aids, ointments, floss, toothbrushes, pads, deodorant, so many things that were stuffed in these bags and we even put little notes in them. So I had a really good time putting them together. I think we made about 15 bags all together, so it was a great turnout. But since I didn't film the actual process of me giving the bags out, I didn't want to just leave you guys empty handed. So in the next couple clips, I'm going to be talking about my opinions, how I felt about everything, and just pretty much wrap up this video. I'm finally back home. I just finished passing out the last couple of bags. I really just want to come back on here to kind of wrap this video up in a pretty little bow because I know that I never show me handing the care packages to anyone because I feel like that's just too personal. That's something that shouldn't even be filmed. So just to keep you in the loop, I'm gonna tell you what happened rather than show you. This morning wasn't what I expected it to be. Throughout this entire video, I've been saying, I can't wait for everyone to come together and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, only two people showed up, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, I understand that things come up. At the end of the day, the main reason we're all there is to help the homeless. So in the morning at 9 a.m., took out all of the donations and we like put them each in like little categories by what they were. And then around like 9, 10, um, my friend Patty and her sister showed up. So thank you so much for coming. That was great having an extra set of hands to help make the care packages. I believe in total we made 15 this year, which is a big, big step up from last year, how I only made four. So we're growing little by little. We're getting better and we're helping more people. So we finished with the bags around 10 a.m. We put them all in my car and then we drove down to this one street in my city that is filled with a lot of homeless people. There's like tents set up and we gave them all away just right there, which is crazy. I was talking to two of the homeless people and when I was giving them their bag, I was like, oh here, like we made these care packages and I want you to have one if you would like to take it. They were like, oh yes, please. And then they were like, the whole bag? And I'm like, yes, the whole bag. <sighs> I feel like they don't get shown kindness so often. So it's like weird to them when someone's kind to them. That made me really happy to see that they were excited. And as we were driving away, I saw like so many of them opening their bags and using the wipes, putting on the gloves. That made me so happy. That made everything worthwhile. Every year it just becomes more meaningful to me. And I love that this is a tradition that has become a part of my life, a part of my family. And I hope I can continue to do it throughout the years. So I want to give a special thanks to the people that donated. No one is asking me to do this, but I just really want to thank these people right here on the screen. What I wanted more than anything was for everyone to come together and assemble the bags. Even even though I didn't get that, I'm so happy that there are people out there that were willing to donate. I even got sent a Venmo payment for like a donation. You didn't have to do that, you know, like it's just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So that's pretty much it for this week's video. I hope that if anything, this inspires you to do something like this on your own, to just give, to just be selfless for a day, to help at a homeless shelter, to donate old clothes in your closet that you don't use anymore. It doesn't take a lot to be kind. That's the message that I want to send with this video. Yeah, I love you and thank you for watching.